Hey guys, welcome to the Fightish channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close. Thanks for supporting, guys. British fighter Dylan White shared his opinion on the defeat of his compatriot Anthony Joshua in the rematch with Alexander Usyk. Dylan believes that the main reason for the loss of AJ was the psychological burden. Anthony tried his best, but obviously Usyk was better. This fight was not difficult for him physically, but it turned out to be difficult psychologically. He just went through a lot of things in an instant and it broke down. We all saw that he showed signs of stress after the fight. Joshua couldn't handle it all. A lot of guys don't know how to handle the feat. No one wants to lose, but life consists of ups and downs. We all have to deal with it, but it's necessary to start crying just because you lost, White said. Former world champion Jamel Erring believes that even despite two consecutive defeats to Alexander Usyk, Anthony Joshua can still give fans a lot of interesting fights. For example, to fight with American Tante Wilder. The fighter cited the example of heavyweights from 30 years ago. Those confrontation was very interesting to watch, even though these fights were not title fights. All the heavyweights of the 90s fought among themselves, no matter whatever the title was at stake or not. With that said, I would still watch Wilder's fight against Anthony Joshua. Of course, this fight may no longer have the charm that it would have had two or three years ago, but I would still turn on the TV. Erring Road. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard, absolutely every day, and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Shirley Finkel, manager of X World Heavyweight Champion Dante Wilder commented on the possibility of organizing a fight between his word and Britain Anthony Joshua. According to the manager, it all depends on AJ and how ready he is mentioned to meet Wilder. It really depends on what kind of psychological state Joshua is in, what he feels and what he needs. Maybe he needs a break or an interim fight. If Joshua is sure that he is ready to meet with Dante Wilder, then we are ready to work. Finkel said. Recall that Anthony Joshua shared the ring with Alexander Usyk in the last two fights, and was defeated by the decision of the judges in both. Wilder will return to the ring on October 15 at the Barclays Center Arena in Brooklyn. The American's opponent will be Finn, Robert Helenius. British heavyweight Dylan White has announced that he is ready to fight former world champion Anthony Joshua in his weight in December. Also, according to Dylan, he is considering the candidacy of Daniel Dubos as a rival for his return. I should have news by next week. I want to fight all the two visual leaders. I want to fight the best guys. Dubos has a title, so I am interested in him. Joshua just lost his rematch. I won this fight because the British public wants to see it too. There is interest in the fight with Joshua all over the world. This is a big event. As the Hearn say that he plans to organize a fight for him in December, so let's fight. Anthony is coming back after a defeat. I also lost my last fight. We had two duels, so why not meet for the third time in December? This is the perfect time for me. I will be ready for December. White said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.